Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm a digital media expert. And today I'm gonna show you how to disable the iTunes splash screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right on to my computer here. Now I'm not gonna really even deal with uh, iTunes. It's mainly just getting rid of one file here. Okay, so you want to go to your library, okay? I do have my library located on the side of my uh, finder window here. But go ahead and locate that on your computer. And then you want to go down to uh, Preferences right here. Okay, and then under Preferences is where we want to find a specific file because we basically just want to delete this file. Okay, so once we delete the file, uh, what will happen is iTunes will skip over that task that is supposed to happen, which is the splash screen. Okay, so it's called com.apple dot iTunes, here we go, right here, dot plist. Okay, so you want to find that file right here. Or maybe if you want to just type that into your um, spotlight, it might be a little bit quicker. Okay, but what I'm going to do is basically just right click, move to trash, boom, done. Done and done. And that's basically it. So all we have to do is remove that, that file and then when we launch iTunes, it will skip over the splash screen and basically disable it. So if you have any other questions, please let us know and thank you for watching.